I'm very upset at Paula. Today was embarrassing. Hola. Hola. Showing up like that for my first date, I don't know what's her deal, but today has been crazy. What was that, Paula? I don't know. I just wanted to see you. You see me every single day. Guys. We go on dates together all the time. All the so... time, yes, but I need the time for so myself once no in a year. I feel like he wasn't good enough for you. Oh, really? Just for five minutes did you talk to the guy? I think you should see someone else. I like Chris, and I want to see him again. And I want to go out with him and dance with him. Without you. Wow. Can't believe you, for God's sakes. I just can't believe that my daughter did this. This is like out of place. My God, I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I'm so embarrassed. I'm sorry. My closeness with Paula has always affected my romantic relationships. I broke up with boyfriends because of our closeness, but I think this is showing lack of respect. That was very rude. And you need to understand that that's my time, that you need to respect. What would you done if I do that to you, huh? I would just feel like, wow, my mommy's protecting me. I don't think so. Who has gotten into you, Paula? I just feel like with Alejandra coming, you're not gonna have time for me at all. And now you're dating, and it's just like worrying me. It's getting to me. Like I'm really not gonna see you again at all. My mom's adopting my little cousin Alejandra from Colombia. And between my mom having a dating life and Alejandra coming soon, she says she still will have all the time in the world for me, but I don't believe that at all. Yeah. You're my daughter, Paula. That's never going to change. I just feel like it's already happening. And you don't see my point. Oh. My mom keeps telling me that we're never gonna grow apart but if she continues to go on these dates, we're never gonna see each other, and that's definitely gonna cause us to grow apart. Let's calm down. I'm calm. I apologize. Do you see my point? I see it. Because I don't think you do. You have to choose between either Alejandra or, or having a love life. <laughs> this is not about choosing something. So you want to do it all? Paula has this fear that she's not going to be the only child anymore. But Alejandra is also going to be my daughter. Even my own time with friends, those are part of my life. She cannot make me choose. I want you to know nothing is going to change between you and I. We're in this together. It's very hard for me because I've never really had to share my mom. I feel like my mom is looking for happiness outside of the relationship that we have. And the fact that she won't choose makes me very uncomfortable. She needs to understand that, you know, I come before anyone and that she needs to spend time with me. There won't be a second date. Now you trust me? Yes, only if you promise massages and our <laughs> nails done. <laughs> Promise. Okay. Salud. Salud. Te amo, mi amor. Yo también. Ready? I'm ready. <laughs> we choose massages because that's the way that we can get in contact with each other. We're very kinesthetic. So by feeling the hands of my daughter healing me is a wonderful way to make up. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Ay, qué rico. <laughs> so delicious. See? Who mm. wouldn't want a massage? <laughs> Especially my kind of massage. <laughs> I give the best massages, right? Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love giving my mom massages. I love making her feel good. And like, I'm very physical in the way I communicate. So I love like transferring love to people through my hands. Oh, Uh-huh. Uh, I love you. I love you too. It is very important to have physical contact with my daughter after a fight. <laughs> oh, that's... Feels amazing, baby. Right there, yeah. This is usually how we make up after a fight. I need to hug her. I need to kiss her. And I know that she needs to touch my body. We love that. Mm. I hate when we argue. I really hate Me it. Me too. Who wants to argue? Mm. We just need to agree on everything. I mean, it's okay to disagree. No, we need to agree on everything. Especially when you're being a little bitch. <laughs> Mommy, that's rude. I'm a <laughs> <laughs> I adore my daughter, but sometimes we need some separation because I, I deserve a man. I'm young. Um, I deserve to, to have fun and to be in love again. Next time I'm, on, I'm not gonna tell you where I'm located <laughs> so you get lost. I have your location on my phone, so it's all good. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I would love if my daughter will find more life outside of my center. I would love to have her own friends and date and just live her life. I love you. You say, Juancita.